hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel well this is a breaking news and it's coming all the way from south east yes you heard me and some hours ago uh, the five southeastern governors had to go into very um a a, a, a closed door meeting where they had to keep all journalists up, uh, away so that they can brainstorm over the issue of insecurity going on in southeast where they have brought out the unthinkable it's been it's been for it's been long now and it has taken almost ages for this to come out and i guess uh, they've been cooking it in the pot now it's ready and they're ready to set it ablaze but before going to the news proper to find out what it is the southeastern governors have done and that is generating a lot of waves on social media and off social media following what has happened in Imo state in uh, in Imo in Olo in Mbano and Mbotolo like you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube does it need to get to this level before the southeastern governors have to react Enugu had their own first year Ebonyi had their first year Anambra had their first year even Aba Abia State had a fashion. Imo State, in fact, was one of the worst hit, but they have decided to do the need for as the southeastern governors, uh, five southeastern uh, governors as the region on Saturday launched a Bubago regional security to fight terrorism in the so zone. A Bubago is the code name, a Ebu Bubago. Mm, that's more like um glory of a lion. I don't know, but some of us will understand Ibo. Please help us interpret what Ibo Bago means. I think it's a glory of a lion. But let's continue with the news anyway. The Chama South East Governors Forum and Governor of Ebo State, Dave Umahi, disclosed this to newsmen at the Imo Government House alongside with other Southeastern governors. According to him, the regional security will be the joint vigilante from Southeast with their headquarters in Enugu State. Mm -mm. It will be recalled that um, reports had it that following the wave of attacks on public institutions, especially the police stations in the Southeast Zone, the five governors of the Southeast have stormed the worry on Sunday, which is today, to take strong decisions on the issue of insecurity in the zone. The governors in attendance were Governor of Abia State, Okezio Ikwezo, Anambra, Willio Biano, Enugu, Ifani, Ugwani, Ebonyi, Dave Umahi, and the host governor, Hope Uzodema. Also sitting alongside with the Southeast governors included the President General of Ohane Zendibo worldwide. Look, there are two fractions. I guess they took the ones they're comfortable with, and that one happened to be Professor George or Biozo, as well as the top security chiefs in the zone. Mm -mm. This is, uh, for some persons, is like um, it's long-awaited security network. For others, it's now going to be, hey, yeah, I'm already smiling. I can just envisage what to go down in Southeast. Don't forget that uh, in December, early, I think December 5th in twenty twenty. T, yes, and Mazen Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, launched what we call Eastern Security Network, codenamed ESN. And so far, they've been going to the bushes, uh, trying to uh, flush out Flanny headsmen that have been having a swell time in the bushes and all that. And it has been widely accepted, if uh, unofficially, though, by the people of the Southeastern region simply because there was no other uh, uh, regional security outfit available for them. <laughs> now, over the over over the months, the people have acclimatized such that anytime there's an issue, you know, they just have a way of always reaching out. Please, can is there security that will come over this side? They are having issues and all that. Now. When this whole thing was not coming up, I'm, I'm talking about this issue of um, uh, this, uh, prison break, uh, them uh, setting up police, uh, police stations in some part of um, Imo State and all that. Uh, Dave Umahi said there was really no need for a regional security outfit as in a regional level that um, the, the states can individually have their own, like um, I think we had one in Imo state, they call it Ijago. But Ijago then was actually created by a a, a, a different body, 
a group, a, a, an Igbo group actually, and they were actually looking at it more like trying to make it uh, like a, a, a regional security outfit where they will have a group of persons from a community where the youth will come up, you know, form it and they get some funding somehow. Then, you know, bit by bit, they were trying to spread their tentacles. Okay, that's Ijago. But this one now is Ebubago. It's quite different. It's different from Ijago. Ijago is the one produced, um, created by a, an, an Igbo group. But this one is actually created by the Southeastern governors. Now, the question now is, will there not be a clash between Eastern Security Network and Ibubago? Don't also forget that the Eastern Security Network is from that Southeastern region, is majorly made up of the youths. Now, Ibubago will be recruited by also the youths. Now the question now is, are they going to work in synergy or are they going to work in opposites? Now, I feel, personal opinion now, this is my personal opinion, I feel that um, at the rate it is going, would they recognize with the South, because at the beginning of the creation of ESN, the Southeastern governors distanced themselves from ESN. And I can still remember vividly that uh, Governor uh, Hope Uzodema personally invited um, uh, military presence to Olo, to f according to him, to flush out ESN's um, camping ground in Olo in Imo State. According to him, they are actually having, uh, you know, disturbing the peace and causing menace in the um, re in that particular environment. According to him, now. Together, he has formed um, a bubago with um, the Southeastern governors who legitimately, by constitution of the law, they are allowed by the constitution, they've been empowered to do so. Now, they've eventually formed one. And Hope Uzodima personally had distanced and all the Southeastern governors have distanced themselves from ESN. Will they be going against ESN? Will they be going after ESN? That is what we do not know. Now they've rolled it out, but I want to also believe that it will look like it will want to look like Amoteko. Because Amoteko to have something similar. Maybe there will be a, a, a Bubak will be like um a, a vigilante group that is not allowed to carry arms, maybe just carry um button. Yorubas call it kundo lokba. You know, button just to scare people, <laughs> but uh, the situation that Nigeria is does not require condo lockdown, it does not require button, it requires you holding some sort of defense, some some weapons, you know, to defend the people and yourself. But let's say it plays out, it's just uh, a breaking news as the event unfold. We keep updating you on the movement and the creation and the logistics of a bubaco, but that's the code name. Ibubago is officially launched, but the young men, but probably the young men that will be in the uh, vigilante have not yet been decided. But we'll keep you updated as the information keeps reaching us. Let's meet in our conversation. What's your take on this latest development? Now we have Ibubago in Southeast. Let's interact.